The state took a major step to reduce food insecurity for families with children, adding permanent funding to the state budget for free meals at school. 22 News reporter Duncan McLean has the details on this $172 million initiative. It's a landmark line in the budget, making Massachusetts the ninth state to offer universal free school meals, decomplicating a meal program that left some food insecure families with children out and made some students uncomfortable seeking help. Uh, universal free lunch is just a no brainer. Kids should just come to school to learn and not have to worry about having enough lunch money. Chicopee Public Schools has served students free breakfast and lunch for years now under a USDA program for qualifying communities. We know that the kids that are coming to have these meals, it could potentially be the only meals that they're having for the day. But for most communities, federal assistance was based on household income, leaving room for stigma and deterring participation. Kids notice. Kids notice who's getting the free lunch and who's having to pay a different amount and things like that. So when everyone is on the same playing field, um, there isn't a stigma anymore. Those income requirements also left out families in need, with 25% of food insecure families with children in Massachusetts bringing home too much money to qualify a fact highlighted during COVID era distribution programs. We served almost 3 million meals. We saw and the state saw the importance of school meals no matter your income. Mm -hmm. Data from the Bread Project indicates that when the state first offered universal free school meals in 2022, some 80,000 more children ate at school daily than in 2019. And with the publicity of this new program, that number will continue to grow, saving families in the Commonwealth around $1,200 a year on breakfast and lunch food while making an invaluable impact on in the lives and nutritional health of those children. Working for you, Duncan McLean, 22 News.